This was a completely unique experience for all of us. I think the act of recreating this man's story, of immersing ourselves in the natural world to try to recreate his struggle, the sheer act of doing that within these locations gave us a lot of the answers of what the movie was about. The only safe thing to do is track a new course back up on land. Then what we gonna do? Sit out there like a bunch of goddamn ducks? You and your half free son you get to walk on out? I'm talking to you. I really wanted to be a part of something incredibly unique. And from the opening shot, which took weeks and weeks just to rehearse, let alone pull off and shoot, we knew that we needed to continue on with a level of filmmaking that was going to be incredibly challenging. We knew to an extent going into the shooting of the movie that it was going to be very difficult, that it was going to challenge us all. But there's something very uh, rewarding in working past the point at which you thought you couldn't take any more. If we can feel again that interaction with the cold and that the people can feel the fear and, and die and the anger and then reborn and then be healed and then die again. If that is achieved through a, an emotional journey, then mission accomplished. to Jim Bridges with Glass, I, I kind of always saw it as a sort of unofficial father-son relationship. I think for, for Jim, at least, Hugh Glass was the closest thing he had to a father. He uh, had a lot of admiration for Glass and learned a great deal by working sort of with and for him. And that's, that's really how I saw their dynamic playing out, which fed into the kind of turmoil that he feels when he's sort of forced to abandon him. The proper thing to do would be to finish him off quick. He used to be cared for as long as necessary. I understand. What was interesting and so entirely helpful for us while <clears throat> making this movie was <clears throat> just understanding their history. Understanding while we were making this movie and reflecting upon how much has been taken away from their cultures. And we look at this story as barbaric, but if you look at the rest of the world nowadays, this is happening all over the world on an unprecedented level. Help! This story is not different than when the Spanish arrived to America and my country, you know. I think it's hard to, to judge these people without the context of that time, because in that time, obviously, they didn't know a lot of things that we know now. What is striking for me is that many of the things that were tough, they're also cruel, it hasn't changed. 